Now, I've had a huge interest in some flies I've been tying recently, uh, mayfly patterns. This one, and this one here, this is a, well basically this is the sunburst. And this one here was a, a variant of the claret bumble. And another one was the a grey and black. Now I've tied this one. I've filmed that one. That one's on YouTube. So I'm going to tie the the sunburst one. Listen here. Now it's how can I put it? It's, it's a great colour combination. It's a really bright colour. Uh, I mean, if you're fishing even for salmon, this would be a great colour. Now it's a bit of fun to tie. You can, as I say, I've been asked a lot about the flies. So I'm going to show you how to tie them. Now the hook I'm using, I'm using a competition heavyweight, it's a full mill hook, size 10. It's a standard hook. Get into your waist, nice and level. Yeah. The thread I'm going to be using is a uni thread 80 in fire orange. Just gonna run the wax through to get it started. Just start at the eye, just run your thread down, a nice layer of thread down until we're in line with the barb of the hook. Just remove the waste. Here we are, that's fine. Now I've got a red holographic tinsel for a tag. It's a medium sized one. So what I'm going to do is catch it on the side and then take the thread down, tying it in about a mil and a half or so and then come back up to the back and line with the barb of the hook. Now I'm going to wind the tinsel over some super glue. Now this is the full and mill super glue with the brush. And I've tapered the brush so I can apply it very easy. Now just wind over it nice and tight. Crush your thread, a couple of turns to secure, trim away the waste. Now the tail and dyed, this is a dyed yellow, sunburst yellow, uh, this is a cock pheasant tail. Now usually around about five or six fibres for the tail. Just bring them 90 degrees from the stem. So I've lined up and tear it off. Now the length of the tail was, geez, uh, as long or short as you like. It's up to yourself. Now I'm doing twice the shank length, so that gives me a good measure. And then we can tie this in. Gives you a nice balance in the fly, in the mayfly. Trim this a full length of the body, which is there. Now I've got two hackles up here. I've got a sunburst hackle and a sunburst dyed French partridge. I've obviously got a body hackle as well. Now for the rib. I'm going to be using a, an oval silver, oh sorry, an oval gold tinsel, a small. Now, if you don't have this tinsel, you can use the oval tinsel. Now, I'm going to catch both in, full into the, the body, just tidy this up first, then come back down. Do your threads back in line with the barb of the hook. Now, this is a blend, this dubbing. It's a blend of light bright and some SLF and some seals for mainly yellow. Take a piece it out. I blend it in a small coffee grinder, so it's easy to do that. I like the uh, dubbins. There's that many dubbins on the market, and I like to blend a lot of them. This you could slightly dub it on at the back, so you can see a wee touch of the fire arms coming through. And as you work up, you can taper the body. Take your time. Then I'm going to pommel the hackle all the way down the body in this case. Just tiny bit more dubbing. I say, make sure you leave your enough room up here. Now the two hackles I'm going to be using, one in the body and one in front of this. These are, I've got two saddles here. This is a a Mets grade 2 saddle. Both saddles, one I've dyed, you can see this bright yellow. And then I've got the sunburst, you can make that out. There's the yellow, and there's the sunburst. It's, the camera's struggling, I think, it's so bright. Now, two feathers here, you may be able to see them a bit better. But uh, put the yellow in for the body to remove the fluff. 
catch this on now we've got a wax on my thread now with these feathers I'll get a couple of flies out of them now we do have kind of we half turn to the top and then we work our way down about three times or so now I usually start off tinsel at the back of the rib and then work my way up you're looking around about five turns or so cross your thread make sure it's secure then we trim away Hackle. now remember this here will, you'll get another fly out of that trim away your rib got wax on my thread here just make sure this is secure get my sunburst hackle I'm just going to remove the fluff at the bottom now again I've got a couple of flies out of this feather secure it in take away the waste now you only need this is to highlight it up the top right if you're looking round about a couple of a, two turns anyway there we are Follow it up, 90 degree bend into the stem, secure it in. Trim this away. At this point I'm just going to make sure things are tidy before I tie in the French passage. Run the thread down and come back up. Be a quick look. Now we're ready for our sunburst dyed French passage hackle. Now what we do is just pull out the fibres I don't need. Tear them away from the side, quite simple. Now this is a great handle to hold and wind these hackles, so take it into the tip. We touch our wax on my thread. Good side of the feather facing myself. Want a couple of turns, fold back the tip. A good three or four turns, making sure that's secure. Then slip your fingers back and there's the tip of the hackle sitting. We can then trim this away or pull it off, it's up to you. And then we can wind our hackle. Now I'm just checking the length. I don't want to have them too long, these fibres. So it's up to yourself. You can always stop. Now, nice straight turns. One turn in front of the other. Just follow up with the last turn or so. Make a space for it. Now if you see here, if I turn this round you'll see that I've actually cut it right in at the stem. Now, I can you can put, tear these away. You don't need these. These are excess fibres. Now, the th the stem is actually thin enough that I can fold back. Sometimes it's not. But I can fold this one back and make sure it's secure, and then break away. And then we can bring out these these fibres all the way around. Get them to sit right. Because as you wind, you twist these fibres, they're all twisted within each wrap of the, or each turn of the hackle. Now, what I'm going to do here, this is optional. We tie in a split jungle cock eye, and this is dyed sunburst. As you can see, it's a perfect split right down the, the centre of this one. Now, what I'm going to do is remove these fine fibres either side of the feather. And then, make sure it's split far enough down that I can tie it in. Then just encourage that split and then you want one either side just hold it a couple of turns just check I'm just checking the, how it's sitting and the length as well these are loose turns so you can tighten up when you need to or slacken off if you need to move the, the jungle cock I'm happy with that so why don't we just pull this back and wind from the front of the eye up. Now keep the thread tight, I'm just going to catch in this, trim this away, catch the edge of it, which is enough to cause it to, usually to tear. In this case it's not going to do it, so I'm going to make sure it's trimmed away. There we are. Sometimes if you catch it on that white area, you can actually tear it away. But Tied to the head anyway, there we are. Quite finish. And then we can varnish. Now what I'm going to do is use the super glue first. 
which will speed up the process. See we quick look at this fly. Now this is a a bright fly, you'll see it for the moon I think. But it's a good colour that works. Uh, what I'm going to do here, put a bit of say, super glue, this is a fully mill again, all the way around. Allow that to dry, and once that's dry, what we can do and do is varnish the fly and finish it. So there you go, that's the sunburst mayfly, or what it was suggested, I should call it the goldfinch, but it's certainly gold enough in colour. So there we are. So I hope you enjoyed that.